Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. We're looking at the ES for Friday, uh, July 19th and uh, doing a, a sort of a post-mortem on uh, looking at the ticks as well as the custom RSI. Uh, Friday's market action was very strange in the sense that the futures were up about 6 to 8 points when the markets opened. But you can see right from the get-go, uh, it was a downward march all the way into the close. So this was very, very strange uh, from a uh, up uh, of about eight points on the ES. It just kept on making lower lows and lower highs uh, and uh, it did not stop all the way till the close. So if we looked at our takes now, obviously, first, the, the, the rule number one is you wait for at least one hour. So you can see uh, even here the, in one hour, the ticks are just completely flat. The RSI is just reflecting some price action, but there's no real, uh, you know, there's no real uh, story here. Uh, it's only when you come here that it starts to develop and then uh, the, the, uh, the ticks are developing red and going down and you have the RSI also. So a, put, a small potential trade over here wouldn't have been a huge trade, but that could be one. Uh, then it starts going up on the ticks. However, you can see that the RSI is still here. So the RSI is not confirming that. So this is not a trade you would take because this will be a call trade when the markets are going down and so by this point i think the markets would have become negative uh, and so this would not be a trade that you would take uh, if you looked at this this is too choppy uh, even though the rsi so, uh, shows very bearish but uh, you don't get any persistent uh, reading here once again you start getting a persistent reading to the upside however you have to understand it's coming from a negative uh, uh, from the negative side and so uh, th this wouldn't be a trade Potentially, what might have been a trade here is uh, this one right here when we see this and the RSI is also in the very bullish zone. Uh, but this would not have worked out well because immediately it changed and somewhere here you would have gotten out. So you would have gotten out at a two point loss over there. So the only real trading opportunity for Friday really came at, uh, towards the close. And you can see from this bar to this bar, an absolute massacre in the ticks. And that's when you're getting ready for the trade. And if you, and if you took the trade here, you would be in all the way until here. So that would be about a four or five point uh, trade on the SPX. Perhaps if you can, you, you know, if you got in, got back in here, you would have been chopped up. But this was the only real good trading opportunity on uh, the SPX on Friday. Thanks.